Hello, and welcome to the CA Technologies video series. This is your business data. Technology that performs replication, high availability, disk snapshot, backup, and archive functions is critical for protecting your business from any interruption. But managing it all continues to be a challenge, especially given the explosion of virtualized and cloud computing environments. This is getting started with CA ArcServe Unified Virtual Standby. With this application, you can provision virtual machines from CA ArcServe D2D backup sessions. In the event of a failure, or even scheduled maintenance, you can automatically switch on virtual machines to take over as production servers. Launch the application in a web browser. The home page gives you access to key tasks. From the node screen, you can see the status of nodes managed by the application, log directly into CA ArcServe D2D or the monitor, which I'll explain in a few minutes. On the virtual standby screen, you can log in directly to the D2D nodes you are protecting. You may pause or resume the heartbeat, pause or resume virtual conversion, view a list of recovery point snapshots, View the conversion policy defined for the D2D node, view logs about conversion status, and power on a VM. The first thing you should do is make sure CA ArcSer D2D is backing up the nodes you wish to convert and then add those nodes. You can add nodes by IP, hostname, or import a file. You can also add VMs from your CA ArcSer unified host based VM backup server. Next, Group nodes to better visualize and manage your environment. For example, you could group nodes by business purpose or by application. On the Policies screen, configure a custom conversion policy that specifies a hypervisor and a monitoring server that checks the environment for failures. For Hyper-V platforms, these must be the same server, but for ESX and vSphere systems, they may be two different machines. Next, specify the virtual machine settings. And last, specify the settings that control how and when to switch on the VM. Next, assign a policy to one or more nodes. Your environment is then ready for conversion. If the monitor server detects a node failure, the stored virtual machine converted from the node's backup image can be automatically or manually powered on to take over as a production server. Multiple restore and recovery options let you recover an entire machine, restore from a recovery point, restore data from a file copy, restore specific files or folders, or recover an individual exchange email. On the configuration screen, you can define email, auto update, and preferences options. The view logs screen lists errors and warnings. That's it. You're now ready to get started using CA ArcServe Unified Virtual Standby. For more information on this and other applications, please visit the website where you can download the documentation and view the remaining titles in the series. Thanks for watching.